All right, so I want to um, show you how to uh, approach these uh, kind of budget problems. Um, so first thing I would do is figure out the time it's going to take uh, per acre for each task in the vineyard. So how many man hours uh, for like labor units. Um, and when I say labor units, that's a term that is used uh, frequently in Australia and New Zealand. It just means like labor laborers. Um, so people. Um, but anyways, we want to figure out how many man hours for the laborers that we're going to need per acre for each task in the vineyard. So what I've given you is uh, uh, timings that are kind of pretty good um, industrial averages for man hours per acre uh, for jobs on West Coast vineyards in a 7 by 5 VSP vineyard. Um, so that's great. If we were doing anything but VSP, then this is going to be pretty hard to use. We'd have to make some modifications to it um, based on what we think, you know, the job is going to, what's going to, if the job is going to go uh, take more time or less time with different trellising systems, or whatever. Um, so what we need to do though, right, so this is seven by five. So think about like if you had 11 foot rows, if you were some, some old school vineyard somewhere uh, and you had a very low vine density, then of course uh, these numbers are going to be smaller, right, on a per acre basis. Uh, then if you're meter by meter, you're going to have a whole bunch of rows um, per acre. And so these numbers are going to increase, right? So we need to normalize these not to per acre, but to linear feet, okay? And then from there, we can figure out how much time it's going to take in our specific vineyard with our various spacings, right? And, and many vineyards are going to have, uh, have been developed over, uh, you know, a decade or two. And so the older vineyards had larger spaced rows, and then the newer vineyards are much narrower spacing between rows. Um, so we're going to have to reconcile that. So we do that by going to linear feet. So what I do is I'll set up, I'll have the table here that has my 7 by 5 hours. Uh, and then next to that, I'll have an hours per linear feet table uh, where I'll take um, the hours per acre and then divide it by the number of linear feet in a 7 by 5 vineyard. So the, and you calculate linear feet by doing... 43,560 square feet per acre divided by the uh, row spacing. So in this case, it's seven, right? So there it is. So if we go ahead and um, bring that down, it's 6,223 feet per, or linear feet per acre, okay? So now we just go through and divide all these numbers by the 6,000, 223, and then we get the hours per linear feet, which is obviously these incredibly small numbers. And then we want to take this and multiply it um, by, so this number here times the kind of average linear feet per acre in our vineyard. Um, so I've already done this. I've calculated it as 4,733 for this particular site. And so if I go to this Vineyard Details tab, you can see here I have all the block details. And then I've gone through and calculated linear feet per block. So you can see what I've done is 43,560 divided by row spacing times the number of acres. Okay? So then I end up with this figure here, over 300,000 feet uh, and 62 miles of row. And then what I do is just figure out, okay, what's 327,998 linear feet in the whole vineyard. And then I've got 69.3 acres. So just divide the two. Uh, so divide linear feet by acres here. And then so on average, we're at about 4,733 um, linear feet per acre. Okay? Simple. So remember, we're not trying to figure out a budget for each block. We're just trying to figure out a budget for the whole vineyard, right? So we don't need to deal with all that. 
Okay, so then uh, go to my hours here. And now I just multiply that times the 4733. Three, three, and I can see things like, so let's look at wire lifting. So wire lifting, this is a three wire system on a seven by five vineyard. Um, and so wire lifting and shoot positioning, and this is also clipping. We're saying it's gonna take 58 hours per acre, right? But on this vineyard, we have a lot, we have a bit less uh, linear feet of row per acre. So it's gonna take us, uh, you know, like 14 hours less, okay? And that makes sense, especially if you, you know, you look at our spacings here, nothing is beneath seven, right? It's all, all the row spacings are above seven. So we're definitely gonna be taking less time per acre on this vineyard, okay? So I would go ahead and just do that, set that up. Some of these things you're gonna have to create yourself, some of these little line items you're gonna have to make on your own. Um, um, so like some of these here, so fruit thinning for Pinot Noir. Pinot, winemakers are touchy about, uh, you know, and emotional about um, yield with Pinot Noir. It really, they're, uh, basis for that is is really there is no basis for it it's just emotional it's based on uh romance of you know grand cru vineyards cropping at three tons per three tons per acre on meter by meter systems and you know so this so they end up having vineyard people drop fruit unnecessarily uh with a, the idea that they're going to get a quality increase uh, so so for pinot noir here these fruit thinning costs um so i've got pinot on this vineyard here, uh, so that's 20 hours per acre, uh, and then, and then I might estimate, you know, that for other, the uh, that's so that 20 hours is for like a, a crop, a significant crop drop, um, where we're going out and actually trying to achieve some sort of yield dogma, um, but then, you know, the other, uh, the other grapes here. Winemakers aren't as picky uh, about trying to hit some sort of dogma. So we may only go out in like the Sauvignon Blanc and Chardonnay and Syrah and do a quick drop where we just get rid of any nesting clusters. So, um, so I might make that assumption that, yeah, it's going to be about half. You know, so the, the other, where it says fruit thinning others, uh, we might be spending half the time per acre uh, than we would on Pinot Noir. Um, yeah, so that's how I would set that up um, to, to start.